If you're a fan of Markdown, well, I've got good news for you. Markdown is now, well, mostly supported in Drupal 10. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yes, you heard me correctly. Markdown is partially supported in Drupal 10. Now, what do I mean by partially? Well, not all of the advanced Markdown features are available, but pretty much anything in the WYSIWYG editor is, and that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at what Markdown is, just in case you don't know, and then we'll see how it works in Drupal 10. First of all, what is Markdown? Well, Markdown is a really simple way to use your keyboard to bold, italicize, use heading tags and other things right within a body field. Now there's a lot more uses for it, but this is a content management system video. And so that's where I'm sticking. Here on the Markdown reference, these links will be down below. You see, if you wanna italicize something, well, you just use a single star. Bold is double star. A single hashtag is a heading one, a double hashtag is a heading two. Now there's some things that are supported and some things that aren't currently supported in Drupal. Things like the image markdown tag, the link markdown tag, and the advanced ones like tables and things are not supported. But things like italic, bold, underline, the simple ones, the heading tags, and the block quote, and the list tag, those are supported. So again, let's go take a look. So here I am in just a plain old body field in a sample test article on a Drupal 10.1.2 site. If I want to make a word italic, it's just star word star and there you go what about a heading three tag i like to split my articles with heading three tags this is a heading three tag and well can't be much simpler than that now let's try a more advanced one that i know doesn't work like the link tag as you can see that doesn't work as well as the image tag doesn't work but what about lists oh sure there you go star just one, and you can just continue on with your keyboard from there. The advantage of Markdown, of course, is that I don't have to move my hand to go to the mouse in order to add these elements to the text in my body field. What about a numbered list? Simple as just typing the number and hitting a space. And there you go. You're going to want to experiment with this to see what is supported and what isn't. I can tell you that most of the advanced Markdown features aren't but the simple ones are, and that's just super helpful. If you're interested in a little bit more information on this, Amy June did a session at Drupal Camp Asheville this year, and all of the documentation from her session is there, as well as the video in, if you listen carefully, you can hear me ask the question, is Markdown supported in Drupal 10? And to the shock of everybody, it was. So pretty cool. I thoroughly enjoyed the session, and I think you will too. Well, that's it. So not all the features are supported, but certainly a whole bunch of the really common ones are. And that's really awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. As always, we would love you to subscribe, even like the video, and we'll see you next time.